What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Daily Refinement. Thank you so much for joining me. In this episode, we're going to go over how I already screwed up. Um, it's only day three in my journey of trying to build a full-time income from nothing publicly so you guys can watch it step-by-step, item-by-item, play-by-play. Let's see if we can actually do this. I don't know if it's possible or not, but let's find out together. Um, the plan is the list four times a week for three months. Just do it each day. This week, my goal is to list at least $10 profit. Next week, $30 profit. And you add $20 a week until the last week, you're listing $250 a profit four times a week. And that's your $1,000 income. The rest of the days, you are looking for the items or accounting or uh, practicing making babies is something that one of my audience members said, which is very funny. Um, whatever you're doing in the off time, I'd like you to condense your reselling in the smaller periods of time. This is Murphy's Law. So um, basically time expands to the amount of time. I mean, the, the task expands to the time you give it. So I want you guys to actually have a life and not just resell your whole um, all day, every day, because a lot of resellers get stuck into that. So four times a week, list $250 of profit. How long do I actually think that takes? I would say when you're just starting, probably 60 to 80 hours a week because you don't know what you're doing. It's hard to find. Over time, I have seen it done in as little as maybe 15 or 20 hours. And even less if you can do online arbitrage or you have some suppliers and it's only listing and fulfilling and even less if you do amazon fba or you deal with only new items so let's get straight into the episode um one more thing that i want to share with you guys is really about doing it so i am a horrible film editor so i'm going to add a new skill every single video along this journey so please like and subscribe if you like this you can make fun of me in the comments below but hopefully 48 new tricks later when this series is done i'll actually be able to make some videos that are watchable and not super boring so let's get straight into the video let's go to the other side of my units what's up everybody welcome to another episode of daily refinement today i'm going to go over a haul of what i picked up at goodwill today i am trying to build a one thousand dollar a week income from as, with as little money as possible so here I'm going to go over what I purchased. This $10.99 on top is this electronic right here. I actually screwed up. Earlier I bought a Sony sound system that had higher comps, but when I brought it back, it actually did not work. So um, this one, um, electronics, because in my area there are so many of them, most of them are $10.99 for VCRs, um, sound system speakers. They're all around $10.99 where I live. $3.99 is actually for this uh, Sony DVD Blu-ray player. Um, the comps aren't that great on it, but it is very small and it does work. I already tested it at home. Um, I'm actually in uh, part of my storage unit. One of Now I have three because I'm doing this experiment with you guys. Um, I would do it at home, but I only have 400 square feet and it's all full of just living stuff. So here um, we picked up three pairs of boots and um, we picked up an awesome pair. Um, of Columbia with the foil interior. Um, we also picked up these boots. They are the brand Tecovas. Sorry about that noise. Um, then we also have these Sorel uh, Caribou's, which are uh, like new. Um, I did also use my strategy again of asking which shoes were in the back, and they brought me out a pair of Cole Haan kitten heels. Um, these are awesome. They're suede in very, very good condition. And then obviously some Brogue dress shoes. Um, my main objective is to sell stuff that's $40 and over. That pair of Brogues is the only one. It's Kenneth Cole. Might be a little bit lower. I just picked it up because it's in, it's in basically perfect condition. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. This is receipt number three. So you guys will be able to follow along in the reseller field guide. I'm gonna track every single expense and show you guys how I do my accounting. Now there's also three personal items I'm gonna throw in today. Um, and these are two sets of sofa feet. And this is something that I discovered because we purchased um, some couches from Pottery Barn uh, I'm sorry, West Elm, and and uh, my fiance did not like the legs of them, so we actually switched them out to all matching legs. So 
Um, they were just two different couches, but we ended up getting uh, legs that are all the same. We bought them on eBay, but now we have these extra legs that I'm going to flip on eBay. I also have this vintage Columbia Bugaboo jacket, a very nice three-piece. I'm going to throw that up. That should move really quickly. And this right here is a, a matte canvas. Okay, and the reason why I have that, and no lighting kit in here, is because people have been complaining that they can't afford a lighting kit. Well, I'm gonna show you guys. When I take photos, it's gonna be basically perfect. Uh, not perfect, but you know, eight out of 10 with just um, an iPhone 6. I recommend a 6S um, Plus or higher. You can see my listing phone doesn't have anything on it except for a camera and Dropbox. So I'm gonna take pictures of all these items. It's gonna take me not very long, maybe half an hour, and I'll take a picture of all these items. I'm gonna store them in D19 in my storage system. And um, here, let's actually walk over there real quick. Okay, so this unit that I got right here, um, this is actually where I store my other um, items. Let's see if I can open this up. People always say that this is fake, so sometimes you gotta show people what's up. Okay, so you can see here it's kind of a mess right now, but this has 400 um, bins in this side. It's pretty well organized. This is a really heavy bag. I sold on one of my accounts. Uh, I am going to repackage it um, and in something different that's a little bit less heavy because this is just outside the parameters. Um, but yeah, this is 400 um, bins where everything is um, stored. So D19, this is the D section right here, is just a couple of rows over. Okay, let's go back over. Here I have a whiteboard with some secret plans I can't share with you. More inventory and then back here is my little gig for um, what I am buying at Goodwill to build this income. I will take pictures at Goodwill of me purchasing all these items so that you guys don't think it's fake. Again, there's no reason for me to make this fake special. Um, you're going to find out that reselling is mainly just work. It has nothing to do with... Um, it has nothing to do really with luck. It just is a lot of hard work to get this to work. So I do use a Yeti 400 uh, power storage unit. You can take a look at it in um, my uh, affiliate link below for my Amazon store. And I basically have a 10, I have 10 foot long iPhone cords. I have a few of these all around this area. So it's easy for me to charge items that are really long. Um, and then right here, iPhone 6S Plus. I actually have two of these listing phones in case I have more people working for me. Um, and then there is no power in this unit, so um, that's why I have to bring my own power. Plus, uh, I negotiated with my uh, manager here to let me work in here as long as my, I use my own power and I don't make any noise. So basically, listen to the headphones. She wants the gate all the way open so she can see that I'm not cooking meth in here, um, and I'm not. And then this is great, and the reason why I screwed up on the Sony is I actually hooked up the speakers in the back, right? And um, I did not test it with the CD. Um, it did actually turn on at the store, but I didn't use a CD. Uh, don't laugh at me, but this is the CD I used to test um, electronic systems. It's Dave Matthew Bands. Let's go ahead and test it. I'm not going to play too much of it because um, I don't want to get this video demonetized. But hopefully it works. Let's see. Let's go ahead and press play. Here's the moment of truth. Is it going to work? Oh, it works. It actually sounds really good. So this system is selling uh, between 60 and 100 bucks. This one is in excellent condition. Um, I haven't tested the tape deck yet, um, but I have tested the CD player and the radio, and the radio um, is a little bit funky, but hope, you know that's something that I may mess with a tiny bit to see if I can get it to work a little bit better uh, or it might just not be working because I'm in kind of a Faraday cage I'm in a metal box right now um, and this does have um, the remote which is really important and taped on there um, when I was negotiating this I was like hey uh, I'm really sorry I 
I took the Sony home and it didn't work. Um, and I, it's my fault for not testing the CD. And I'm not asking for a return, I just would like to switch it out with something else. Do you have any more electronics in the back? And they had this system, which is actually um, around the same level. So it was, it, was, it was a great trade. The manager didn't care. I was gonna have her take a picture with me uh, with a disapproving look so I could show you guys that um, you know, managers don't like people who return things, but I shop there so often, um, they know to hold certain things for me. You can see here, a lot of people say when they go to the thrift store, there are no good shoes left. A lot of that is really because someone, in my opinion, someone has a relationship with the manager already like myself and they're holding shoes for them. And you know, when they tell me to pay $10.99 for shoes and $8.99 for shoes, I may have to pick up a pair like this Kenneth Cole um, that I normally would not flip because I honestly don't think it will sell for $40. I'll try. Um, it's really nice. It's in really good condition. Um, you know, but will I get 40 bucks from it? I don't think so, um, but I'll try. Now, I think it's probably worth between 30 and $40. Um, still pretty decent, you know, but again, um, this is my setup, so this will be what I use to um, to do this challenge with you guys. So, not too complicated, right? So, I know some of you are going to complain and say like, well, I don't have money to buy a generator. Then just use the plug at home, right? And you don't, may not have money for an iPhone 6S Plus, but these phones are about 150 bucks right now. A little bit less if you get one that's locked that you can't use service on, and I actually don't use this for service. This iPhone cord is about 10 bucks, so it does cost some money to get this going. Um, the reason why I use a matte uh, painter's canvas is just because it's easy to put away, and you don't need a lighting kit. So you guys can click the link in the description below and get an idea of um, what these photos look like with no lighting kit, because I just get probably 20 emails a day people complain that they can't do this because they don't have any money and I think it's really just kind of a, a lack of resourcefulness um, to give you guys an idea also um, I don't just shop at one store thrifting is pretty fun for me it's not something that I do uh, to grow my business it's just something I do for fun but I do have a route and I think that's super important for you guys to know which stores that you'd like to go to um, in order to get the supply that you need to build your business. I know that if I were just thrifting for a living, I would be around 250 listings per week and I'd have to go to 50 different stores. I'm sorry, make 50 different visits. So it can be the same store, but I would need to go in 50 separate times to get it. Like as an example, this system right here was the same store, but I went in for a second time. I would actually count that as two visits. So right now I am spending a lot of my time on replenishable items because this I feel like is a job, right? Because I'm trading my time doing all this stuff in order to, um, I'm trading my time in order to earn money. But it is great because I can do it on my own schedule. But again, you know, all this stuff right here, it's kind of messy. Some people won't want it. I advise you to not do this at home unless you want to piss off your significant other. Um, you do need a lot of space. This is about a 10 by 10 area. Um, that I'm storing all this stuff right here for this um, example. And if you have a 10 by 10 area, I can't stress enough to have an area that's not um, cluttered with other stuff so that you can concentrate, uh, get this all organized and then put away. Um, over here you can see I'm working on other shoes. I'm thinking about getting a, a, 20, a 20 shoe a day hustle um, because I think if you listed 20 shoes a day, you would make six figures basically immediately. You would just need the money in order to pay for those shoes. So, you know, originally I, w I went on YouTube and asked like, will someone finance me? I'll just do um, Gucci or really high-end shoes and we can make $50 a pair and a lot less work. But that being said, I don't know if I want to move that route anymore because uh, I want to move into the replenishable game. Even if I was doing Gucci, like that's not a business, that's still like a job. And the way I define it is, it's not a business unless you can sell the business. If you have to be there, it's a job. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with it being a job or slash freelancer, but I want something that I can sell to somebody one day and have that cash windfall. That's what I want. Um, and again, hopefully this is useful, guys. Just as a quick summary, um, I bought a sound system and this sound system is an AWA and you'll be able to look at the listings in the link below. Uh, three pairs of boots, two pairs of shoes, two sets of um, bed feet, um, a Sony Blu-ray player, and a Bugaboo uh, vintage 
Columbia jacket. Um, if you guys want to follow along, you can do it. Um, my free guide, my free video guide for doing this is available. If you want to download the worksheet and do it with me, how we're doing this is basically we are listing Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. That's when I'm doing it, and I think you should do four days a week so that you can get the momentum going so that you can build a business because it's more about being consistent each week than it is about what you're getting. Um, the, the, the stuff obviously in the buy stuff that's popular and, and that's going to sell. I live in California and the, the donations are a lot better. That being said, it costs three, four times as much money to live where I live. You know, um, my, I'm living in a 400 square foot apartment that costs $2,500 a month, right? So that's definitely different than where you live probably, but you can do this even in California, but you're gonna need some external space, in my opinion, to properly do it. I have 900 square feet to work with, and I'm paying roughly $2 a square foot. It's pretty, pretty freaking expensive. So if you're living somewhere that's not California, you're gonna need to spend more time thrifting or buying stuff online. Um, and I'm gonna be doing more of that too to help you guys get an idea of what you can do. If there's literally nothing around you, then you're gonna have to learn to source online. Um, oh wow, I'm just noticing how crooked this, this uh, sticker is. I wonder who put that on there. Um, so anyway, yeah, these these legs right now are really in. There's a special term for this. I forgot what it's called, um, but it's basically like the peg leg. There's a specific term for this. These sell like crazy. Um, one more hack is um, Pottery Barn owns West Elm or West Elm owns Pottery Barn, one of those two things. And the couch that we purchase is normally $3,100. Um, but in California, there is a Pottery Barn outlet. So we were able to get these non-matching pieces that equaled the, the matching set, but the legs were different. So we actually made our own couch by getting two non-matching um, pieces. It was basically a um, couch and then a chase um, that were matching. Together they would be $3,100, but separate they were a fraction of that cost, but they had different legs. So um, these legs we purchased from an Etsy seller. So now they all match and it's pretty awesome. But hopefully this is useful and informative, guys. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and I'll see you on the next episode.